I'm the Director of Operations for HMR Pretzels. Um, these are franchisees that operate 14 Auntie Anne's stores. Auntie Anne's is the world's largest hand-rolled soft pretzel franchise. Auntie Anne's is worldwide. They have over 1,500 locations in 48 states in the U.S. and they're in 35 international countries. We are located mostly in enclosed malls. We need to be in high traffic areas, so obviously there's a lot of traffic in malls. Uh, we want to be in obviously the busiest malls. We've also expanded into airports, train stations, amusement parks. Annie Ann's business has changed over uh, the last five years with more and more people shopping online. That means there's less foot traffic in the mall. So we have to look at how do we grow the business outside of the walls of the mall or outside the walls of a Walmart. In recent months, we've really uh, put a push on catering and that's been one of our main focuses in, our, in growing the business. And the reason being it's twofold. Uh, to try to grow the business outside the walls of our existing stores because there's less foot traffic in the mall and also to introduce uh, the Auntie Anne's product through catering to people who may not ever come to a mall or have never tasted Auntie Anne's pretzels before. Our catering menu includes everything that's on our regular menu in the store, uh, from pretzels to nuggets to mini dogs, uh, pepperoni nuggets. Uh, for our specific stores, for delivering a catering order, we have a minimum of a $75 order. Nationally, Auntie Anne's recommendation, I believe, is a $50 order for a minimum order. Today, we have had a variety of different catering customers from some of the major businesses in our metropolitan area to uh, bridal showers, we've catered weddings, uh, we've catered children's birthday parties. I think what makes Auntie Anne's unique in the catering platform is, uh, first of all, our product is delicious. Uh, second of all, it can be used as e either a meal or a snack, depending on what you order. I'm Jacqueline Jarman, and I'm a training manager for Auntie Anne's Pretzels. A customer can place an order a variety of ways. You can come to the store and talk to the manager. You can call the store. Um, employees have been thoroughly trained on how to take catering orders on the phone. And then you can also order on Easy Cater. When you go to our website, AuntieAnne's.com, and you click on catering, it will redirect you to Easy Cater, and you can place your order there. And it makes it great and convenient for customers to order when they want to or when they can, especially busy people in offices. They just go online and it places an order, um, I believe, at the store that's closest to their address that they put. For catering, you can have it delivered. There's a delivery fee or you can pick it up in the store. Our catering program is available any time of the day, 24 seven. Most business events are in the afternoon, and school events are in the morning, and then social events are on the weekends at any given time. Uh, one thing we're focused on is increasing our catering to different businesses uh, throughout our community. Uh, some examples of that might be car dealerships, rental car companies, uh, the top 10 workplaces in our specific cities where we operate uh, to focus on uh, companies and businesses that uh, either want to reward their employees or reward their customers with the delicious Indian's pretzel product. An ideal catering situation for us would be uh, an event uh, where people would enjoy the product upon being delivered. Uh, because we have a freshness guarantee with our product, obviously the sooner they enjoy it, uh, 
the more they're going to like the product and potentially become future customers for us. Our ideal catering customer would be within 30 minutes of an Auntie Anne's location. So help us decide what business customers to target to help us expand our catering program at Auntie Anne's. Help Auntie Anne's choose a new target market segment for their catering. Research, choose, and describe the segment, keeping in mind the factors of desirable market segments. Then create a buyer persona, including a picture representation based on this data.